at some point you've come across a website like this with a big hero section at the top, probably full height. And then you have this down arrows that appear and they are animated, indicating that if you click here, it will take you somewhere lower on the page. And indeed, when I do click on this, you will see it scrolls down and usually it is just the section below it. Yes, of course, you can scroll down like usual, but it may be argued that when you have a full viewport height and that it is completely filled with information that people will just look here at the hero image and not really scroll down. And this is a little extra nudge for them to click and it scrolls down. I'm going to show you in this video how you can do this for free. Two things you'll need, of course, your builder. In this case, I'll be using Brizzy. And then you need to sign into Lottie Files and you do this for free. You will need an animated logo and Lottie Files is the perfect place to go for that. You can also get Lottie Files on many stock sites, but I mean, you can come here. This is where it all started. Sign in and the first thing you will do is search for something like scroll down or, if, uh, or scroll up, depends on what you want to use. One tip, remember if your background is dark, this is the one you'll be going for. If your background is light, you'll be going for this one. Click on the one you want to use. And all we need to do from here is go to the Lottie animation URL and click the copy link next to it. Go into your builder. And here I currently have a big spacer that is adding the space. So what I will do is first reduce the space. Then I'll go to the add elements and I'll look for the Lottie by typing in Lottie in the search and then click drag and I'll drop it just below that spacer and it will bring in a default Lottie, which is way too big. Click on it to select it, and I'll go here to the bottom where you find the Lottie settings, and then in the Lottie link, select that and paste the link that we've just copied. This again is going to give us a very, very big one to scroll down. So I'll click on it, and you grab the handles here in the bottom, and I'm simply going to drag that until I get to something that works for me. In this case, this is just right. And then to finish this all up, all I need to do is go to this spacer, duplicate it, click and hold and drag it below it so we can add some space here as well. And I'll just reduce this one a little bit more. And I think we've got it here. Click back on it. And what is important now is that you have to create the anchor link for this Lottie. I'll click here on the link, select block, and then choose the second block so it is linked now. Control S, Command S to save your work. And then for preview, Control Shift P, Command Shift P. Opens a new tab in our browser. Here it is, clickable, and it scrolls perfectly to that block that we've anchored.